Hello, Giants fans. Welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants beat the Guardians 5-4 to four today in, in a wild game and, 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 and just an incredibly critical one. Um, the, the hitters just stepped up in a big moment here in the 10th inning. You really couldn't overstate this. They, they were about to just fall farther behind in the wild card race but they, they really saved themselves they, they really won a game that was just a much a, a must win for them they got three runs through the first nine innings including a home run from Mike Estremski and Alex Cobb pitched five innings for the Giants and allowed two unearned runs it was tied in the ninth inning. Camilo Doval pitched scoreless. Top of the ninth. Giants couldn't get anything going in the bottom. Actually, they, they missed a pretty big opportunity in the eighth with two outs and two runners on base and Wilmer Flores at the plate. He he flew out to to end the threat there. And then then the ninth, Doval pitched top of it. It was it was scoreless and they Giants didn't score. They they went into the tenth inning. After that, and Luke Jackson got into trouble in the top of the tenth. It 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 started out just as just just a really good way the Giants defense was able to handle it. They got the lead runner on a on on basically a fielder's choice thing. Well, I I guess that's what you call it when. Typically, when the runners safe, I'm I'm sorry, I'm 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 a little confused as as to what exactly you're gonna call this thing, but they they were able to tag the the runner out who just evidently made a a bad decision to go for third, and then I can't remember who was on on first, who made it to first on that play, but Jackson gave up a stolen base really just putting them in the situation they were in before except with one out and then there was the single by Andres Jimenez to put the Guardians up 4 to 3 and then the Giants went to the bottom of the 10th and they they just Blake Sable singled in the automatic runner to tie the game at four. And then Sable ended up stealing third base. And, and honestly, you, you got to give him credit for that. I mean, catchers stealing bases, it's, it's while not unheard of, it's, it's just kind of a fairly rare phenomenon. So you give Sable a lot of credit for that. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure whether it, it actually had an impact on the result of the game, whether he was ultimately at second or third. I, I mean, I, I guess there's always the possibility of, of him coming in, taking the extra base from second on Wade's single anyway. I, I mean, we, we don't know, but I mean, still, I think Sable's stolen base was a pretty cool thing. Then Lamont Wade Jr. singled him in to walk it off and send the Giants to a 5-4 to four victory over the Guardians. So, great game for the Giants today. They, they've kept themselves in decent a decent wild card spot and if if they can just continue to play games like this one down the stretch we should see them in a playoff spot but what they did today it was just a perfect example of what good good September what good pre pre postseason baseball looks like and the giant the Giants were able to deliver when it mattered in this game Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.